Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today's video is all about ditching that lazy girl habit. Now, if you have been struggling with this for some time, I'm going to help you and share my tips and tricks on how to get out of that lazy mentality and how to really pull out the best diligent parts of you. Of course, to start off, I'm going to share the scripture, 1 Peter 5, 9, it says, resist the devil standing firm in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. Now, my personal story is I have gone through this kind of stronghold, I want to say. Um, and you don't really understand that a lazy mentality is actually attached to sin. I will touch on this a little bit later in this video. I didn't realize that for years I had a very horrible habit that just I would do every single day without understanding that there's something you know wrong with it that there's something attached to it that is not allowing me to be my best version of myself and when I discovered that this was a problem in my life I needed to make the change but it was very difficult to get out of it now you may think like what could possibly be the thing that she's talking about and it's a it's a bit shocking for some of you but my problem was sleep. I had the worst sleep schedule. I remember I started the schedule probably when I was in high school. And the reason for this was because I was an art student and some of our work would really go through the night. It was almost like a routine that I would start. So I remember just coming from school, uh, having that relaxing time and then going back into my artwork. Uh, or do the rest of my homework and then go into art and we had to do textile designing and all of that so that was a very layered type of process and we had to like do cut on film and that took so much of time I found that my creative side came out at night and I could work better so what I would do is I would go through the night and you know my parents would be like why are you still awake and then they would you know they would understand that I'm busy working with school but what had happened straight after that was I created this routine and it was kind of hard to get out of it so I eventually started sleeping later so I would only fall asleep at like two o'clock in the morning um, and I would play with my phone and you know it was just that very unhealthy sleep pattern that I had and I would wake up really late in the day um, and I didn't think that this was a problem because I was still getting enough sleep But I would sleep throughout my morning like I would wake up really really late I would wake up like 10 11 12 sometimes um, And it was getting it was like a process for so many years And I didn't realize that this was taking up so much of my valuable time It was taking away my morning my beautiful view of you know watching the sunrise um, And I didn't know that you know there was any problem with that until I actually got convicted of this. I remember I changed my sleep schedule uh, a few years back and it has been the most amazing thing that I could have ever done. Uh, the first year doing it, it was very difficult. I am not going to sit here and say that, you know, the transition was amazing. Getting away or changing a certain bad habit always requires some type of sacrifice and for me it was like my sleep like that was like my most treasured thing you know I enjoyed my sleep I looked forward to it um, and I also had to change the way in which I you know lived in the day the reason why this is a bad habit is because I didn't realize that the the most productive time in the day for me at that time was the night right because my body clock is all messed up and it's different so I would be in a slum and I would my my body would not function around one two three four five like that's the main parts of the day where you get the most amount of work done like a normal person would get a lot of work done from like 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. that's a normal like working system right that's the time where my body is drained and tired and I am I'm actually not motivated to do anything so I would 
think that I'm gonna film the next day like record a YouTube video or be very consistent on whatever I was supposed to do the day would come and it's around one o'clock and I told myself I'm gonna do this but I just feel so unmotivated and this would happen repetitively it would constantly happen time and time and time again and I came to a point where I would start shooting videos like late at night and I'm sure those of you that follow me for a long time and watched uh, like earlier videos of mine you would always see that I would film at night because I would be productive at night for some reason I had all the energy at that time um, and of course this was not the best way to live everybody else is sleeping and here I am awake filming and recording videos so that is not a healthy pattern and I had to learn that that's wrong you know so a couple of years ago I realized that this isn't the best uh, I could feel like my body was saying you know this is not the best I could feel when everybody else was alive and awake I was grumpy and moody you know so it really does uh, creep its way into your actual day and your life and also your relationships uh, you cannot be an island on your own and think you know it's my sleep schedule I can do whatever I want at whatever time it's really not that way if you call yourself a child of God if you uh, think that you love people and you want friendships and you want relationships and you want people to respect and love you you need to respect and love yourself first and people in order for them to respect you but my personal experience through this was really understanding that there was a problem I had to face this big um, habit this bad habit face to face and realize that I need to change I started changing my sleep schedule and my and this habit and I actually stopped saying that I like sleep I stopped saying that I'm enjoying uh, sleep everybody needs rest everybody needs sleep it's something that I need but I do not want to over exaggerate my desire for it I don't want that to become like a god in my life you know and at one point in my life it was that bad it was to that extent you know I needed my sleep otherwise I was grumpy throughout the day and if something is taking a hold of your life to that extent where if you do not have it it could be anything like I'm sharing my experience right I'm sharing my experience about sleep but for you it may be your coffee or it might be you know you need to have your husband next to you all the time it could be anything that you really overdo um, and that becomes a god in your life you know so we need to really uh, analyze ourselves and really find the thing okay these are all the bad habits how do I change it what do I do how do I flip the switch and it's always it's not always going to be easy I will say it's not going to be easy so the first year after I made that decision uh, it was a bit difficult at first but I would put a program or like a system in place and I would do it constantly I didn't want to make other people miserable and unhappy so in order for me to be more happier and more lovable uh, I needed to be okay after I changed the habit and I started doing the proper sleeping routine I realized I was getting a little bit cranky because I'm you know deprived of my sleep and then I would see how people would respond to me like in my home I would see how uh, my actions and my response and my emotions would give them uh, a different type of day you know so that's not fair if you are somebody who uh, is going to impact somebody else's life and day you need to change uh, those aspects as well once the bad habit is away you need to deal with the emotions because emotions are attached to those bad habits and that can be something that can be really like such a strong hold over your life but you can do it every day repeat the process repeat the good habits keep repeating the good habits and the new routine that you have set up for yourself and you will win in no time it's been a few years now and I am completely delivered and excited about my life and 
I wake up early in excitement. I wake up early because I want to see the goodness of God. It's been a few years that I've actually seen such a difference in how I look at my life, what I do with my day. I've been so much more productive in my days. Uh, I spend time with God in my mornings. I, I'm excited to start the day in the best way possible. And you may not understand like this may be a shape from laziness, anything, no matter what it is, if it's attached to laziness, and if it's allowing you to be in a place where you don't want to really put in the effort, it's attached to laziness. It's a mindset and it's a heart uh, posture and you need to change that. So the decision is the first step. Implementation is the second step. And then you need to deal with your emotions. These are the three things that are really going to stand in front of you before you really uh, go through to the other side. You're going to deal with your decision. You're going to deal with actually waking up and doing the thing you said you're going to do. So the implementation is important. And the last step is your emotions. And you can only do this with God. So how do you really get yourself and your mind to this place where you are so strong to actually make the decision? And you need to understand, okay, what am I facing? What is this thing that is really stopping me from reaching this goal? And if it is laziness, what is the opposite of laziness? Diligence. If you are diligent and you know that you set your mind on something and you want to accomplish and you want to do it, you need to know and confess that you are diligent. If you are saying that you are not somebody who is lazy, you need to confess that you are diligent and become what a diligent person is. So what are the traits of a diligent person? Who is this person? What does this person do during the day? How does this person respond to challenges? How does this person uh, wake up? What is this person doing do throughout the day? What do they like to do? How are they motivated? Those are the kinds of questions that you need to ask yourself in order to become the diligent person. And you need to start thinking of yourself as a diligent person and not a lazy person. So what does the word of God say about laziness? Let's dive into what scripture has to say. Proverbs 13, 4. A sluggard appetite is never full, but the diligent are fully satisfied. Proverbs 2, 5. The plans of the diligent lead to profit, but haste leads to poverty. Laziness is dangerous. God does not like laziness. Now, this is scripture. This is coming straight from the word of God. This is directly from the Bible. And laziness is attached to poverty. Laziness is attached to anything that is not productive. Laziness is, is a state of mind. It's a state of poverty as well as poverty. Poverty is a state of mind. It is not necessarily not having things or money. It is actually a mindset. You are somebody who's not focused on your goals. If you're not really opening up your mind, you say you're going to do something, but you don't do it. It means that somehow you allowed your mindset to become lazy. You allowed your mindset to become focused on a path that is not set for you. And that path is laziness and poverty. You want to be the diligent and profitable person that God has called you to be. So if this is you, you need to know that you are diligent and keep confessing this over your life. Put in different points in your day. Allow yourself to structure your day according to the plan and the purpose of God. Speak with God. Allow God to actually minister to you and give you a proper uh, way forward in your day. So you know how to wake up. You know how to start your day. You know the kind of mindset that you need to have. Write these things down and God will assist you throughout the day because he wants you to have an accomplished and an amazing profitable day. What are your lazy triggers? What are the things that make you feel comfortable in order to get into that lazy state? So you need to know what's your triggers. I remember for me, uh, it, it used to be my phone. I would sit out on my phone. I would tell myself, okay, I'm going to be filming a video today. Uh, it's going to be a makeup video. And then I'll take my phone for inspiration and go and look for inspirational pictures. But then I would go down a rabbit hole and then I would go and check for like pictures. And then straight after that, I'm not motivated. I'm going to go back to another Instagram post. I'm going to read other people's stories. I'm going to watch other things, entertainment, uh, online. And that was my downfall. That was my trick. 
I would say I'm gonna go and research something on my phone and then I would spend like two hours scrolling so you need to know what is your triggers um, what is the thing that is stopping you from from actually doing what you said you were going to do so what are your trigger points that get you to that place of laziness if you still don't identify as a lazy person in some way in your life ask yourself these questions how do I speak what am I saying constantly what am I confessing if you are somebody who is always making excuses if you are always you know being in a mindset where you you leave it for another day you want to procrastinate you always complaining if you're somebody who's always finding another person to do your work or finding another avenue to you know get things away from you so you can live in your comfortable little bubble my friend this means that you have a lazy mentality. So your speech and what you say really does say a lot about who you are. You need to know if you are gravitating around people who are always negative Nancy's, you're always joining people who are ready to just complain about the work they're in, complain about the people around them, complain, complain, complain. If you're gonna be around people who are complacent, friends who are complacent, who don't uh, or really want to see you be productive, those are not the kinds of friends that you need to have in your life. Uh, the types of people that you join, are they goal-minded? Do they have a vision for their lives? Are they going somewhere in their lives? Are you learning from them? Are uh, they learning from you? Are you giving anything of value? Are you allowing yourself to become valuable uh, in any state of your life, in any uh, sitting that you are in? You need to understand if all of these things are really red flags right now and you feel like you are really not empowered because people in your life are just draining you or you draining them then you need to know it's time for change and you need to be the person that God has called you to be which is diligent I'd like to close out this video with a scripture and this is 2nd Peter 1 5 for this very reason make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness mutual affection and to mutual affection love for if you possess these qualities in increasing measure they will keep you from being ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ but whoever does not have them is nearsighted and blind forgetting that they have been cleansed from their past sins Therefore, my brothers and sisters, make every effort to confirm your calling and election. For if you do these things, you will never stumble and you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope that this word and this uh, video has really encouraged you to live your best and most productive life and I really do know that I have been through my process of getting out of that lazy mentality. The word of God is saying that laziness is going to ultimately give you poverty and it's going to give you a life that is unproductive and it's full of sin then stick to being the diligent person and stick to change i believe that you can do this you can change if i did and i'm still on my process in many areas of my life i know that you can do this too so i wish you all the best in your journey for becoming more productive this year 2024 or whichever year you are in right now i believe that god is going to do great and powerful things in you you need to believe in yourself and make that change and yeah that is it for today's video i hope you did enjoy it if you did give it a like and subscribe if you're not already and let me know in the comment section on what you thought of today's video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys